Nico, I've been thinking about it, and I want you to pay our friend Ray a visit. Give him a message from me. He's at a sit-down on Card Row in East Harlem. If that's your decision, Mr. Pegorino, it's done. Smell, I just laid some gas in here. Thank you. I see his car. He should be heading over to a chop shop in Moabo. Don't get too comfortable with him, Nico. Like every rat, he's a survivor. He's got good instincts. He has a bad feeling about you in particular. He bought some protection and he ain't gonna hang around and wait for you know what to happen. Then again, I'll get his chump muscle and stop for gas out of way. It might create a good opportunity. Meeting went to plan, Mr. Begorino. Cleaning out is a tough job, Bellic. I don't got much left in mind. Stupid Malaka! Bellic, I want to introduce you to John Gravelli, head of the Gambetti family. He needs help. I'm already working for a mafia family. They're scum. The Begorino? They're not a family. Gravelli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Shotla Medical Center. Tell him you were sent by a mutual. Stop! Where you want to go, Evan? This is it, my compadre. We're here. I'm here to see Mr. Gravelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Yeah. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend James Pegorino. I don't know what you Spare you're... me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me laugh. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years. <laughs> You mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally come to an end? <laughs> I know it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> but if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes, 
Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <laughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you. Here we are, man. End of the line. You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall. All right? Sure. John, how are you? Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Watch it! Those are the wonders of modern medicine. I'm going to bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is going to be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. Where do you think you're going? No, John. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm gonna go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson! Let's get out of here! Stop at anything, these people! If I get out of this, what the fuck? to die. 
You've got to get us to the Civic Citadel. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're gonna try to take out a politician... It looks like these men really want you dead, Mr. Jefferson. Thanks for the advice. American gangsters like John Gravelli understand the way life works. They get the limits of their power. In Europe, the politicians are as crooked as the gangsters. They don't understand that things are different here. Yeah, sure. You are as clean as the driven snow. I'll explain that important cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if our paths cross. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show, some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. City Hall. He should be giving a speech any minute. It did good. Heard you had some trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians to try something. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals when they want it so bad? You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Gravelli? See you later. So where to? We're going to be... Then, here we go. Hey, Cam! How is it going, man? Don't shoot at me now! This direction. Oh, thank you. Whoa, whoa. Ah, Nico, good to see you. You too. How are you, Mr. Gravelli? Good, good. I was just speaking to our mutual friend about you. He said how efficient you were. I like that. Then he mentioned something about a Darko Brevich. What? He did? Yeah, he's located the guy. It seems he wasn't in Switzerland at all, but in Bucharest. He'll be here soon. Good, good. And it seems your Russian friends are getting the message. Some of them. Oh, okay, so... I think it's our turn to do a favor for that mutual friend of ours. Seems some Korean has come into the country and... and is selling money at a discount. You don't need me to tell you that it's all fugazi. Faker than a pair of vine wood tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Listen, I need you to deal with this. Eliminate the guy. What he's doing is no good for the economy and no good for patriots like you and me. Huh. So who is he? His name is Kim Young Guk. He'll be very well protected. He eats at Mr. Fook. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Mr. Gravelli, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm fine. Wait, 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 wait. 
what was I saying? Kim Jong-guk, he eats at... Yeah, right. Right, right. He, he eats at a restaurant called Mr. Fuchs Rice Box. <coughs> yeah, in Alderney City. <coughs> Don't worry. I'll take care of it. We're going to... Here we go. Tip, please. Thanks a lot. Where is Kim? He's upstairs, speaking with the manager. They don't want to see nobody, though. Kim and I are old friends. Kim got a lot of money. He don't need no friends. Get lost. You have exactly five fucking seconds to do <laughs> My fucking life. not going to live very long. Where's Kim? Uh, he heard you come. He ran out back through the kitchen. Here we are. It's all about problems and solutions. Ah, Nico! Of course, you guys already know each other. Nico, good to see you. Interesting friendships you both keep. Yeah, very interesting. The mayor will be here in a minute, and I have two senators dropping by later. Everyone wants to pay homage to a dying legend. Everyone wants the glamour of a bygone age. Everyone. Now that you hear what I said. Yeah, I heard what you said. Nico, our friend here, is telling me that the Ancelotti's are in league with the Russians. Ancelotti's? I know these guys 73 years. In 1972, I should have killed his uncle, but I spared him. And this is how he repays me? Unbelievable! And now he's dealing drugs with Ivan the goddamn terrible! <laughs> so what we're saying is, this is a matter of security, national. 
Normally, I don't care about cocaine. Keeps controllable people in power. But this is no good. All right, what's my role in this? The distribution network is a fleet of vans parked at a grocery warehouse in Alderney City. The product is packed into the frames of the vans, ready to be moved all over the country. Destroy everything, whatever it takes. And for me? For you. I've got a real gift for you. Get this done, then we'll talk. I want to go. Oh, a fun way to go. I have ordered some ah, knives whatever. off the internet. I can't wait. Thank <laughs> you. 